Ah, I've been putting this review off for a long time. First, because I was waiting for the whole season to come out. Then, because I heard that this season wasn't really a finale again, and that there would be at least one more installment, which disappointed me. Then, because I heard extremely contradictory reviews, and I didn't want to spoil my mood from watching the series, which I once put on my list of favorites. And not in vain, in my opinion, the first three seasons of Attack of the Titans were a benchmark example of an adult, quality anime series, with good dynamics, unusual and exciting plot, gorgeous visual and musical components, which is not a shame to recommend even to people who are far from the realities of Japanese animation. As they say, all the stars have aligned, as I repeatedly mentioned in reviews of previous seasons. But as the viewing of the last season do not put off, but still need to watch it, and it's time to share my impressions. This will be a review of the second part of the final season of Attack on Titan, Shingeki no Kaijin, the final season part 2. Attack on Titan, the final season part 2 is the second part of the final season of Attack on Titan, released by MAPPA Studios in the winter of 2022. This part consists of 12 episodes and is based on the manga by Hajime Isayama. The events of the second part of the final season develop immediately after the end of the first. Aaron Yeager climbs to the roof of a building and is attacked by Marleyan soldiers and Titans who have flown to the island in balloons. A chaotic battle unfolds, with Aaron clashing with Reiner Braun and other Titans, and the Eldian rebels desperately fighting the Marleans. But the main task for Aaron is still ahead, because in order to realize his plan he needs to meet Zeke, who is unknown where he is. Will Aaron succeed in reaching Zeke before his dreams of a free Eldia turn to dust? Or will the Marleans' desperate attempts to destroy the world threat represented by Aaron succeed? The first thing that caught my eye when watching the second half of the final season was the plethora of plot assumptions. The concentration of absurdity on the screen at times becomes so high that it becomes harder and harder to take this work seriously, and we are talking about an action drama of universal scale, which exacerbates the problem. The most frustrating thing isn't just seeing the quality of the story drop and the concentration of absurdity rise. It's seeing this kind of thing after a gorgeous third season that raised the bar of quality in every way so high that now the drop looks not just unpleasant, but catastrophic. I can't help but feel like I'm watching a precipitous train wreck. For three seasons it picked up speed, only to then epically derail in the final season to disapproving shakes of heads from fans and whistles from haters. Such an epic story doesn't deserve such an unrepresentative ending. I'm starting to think that people are overrating parts of the final season of Attack of the Titans purely out of inertia, without even familiarizing themselves with what they're rating. Because for all its flaws, the second part of the final season at the time of writing the review was ranked 33rd in terms of ratings, with a rating of 8.79 on the largest western site mail. Well, either I'm missing something in this world. There are various contradictions and plot assumptions here at every turn, just on a smaller scale. About the fact that the creators decided to split the final season once again, I'm not talking at all. While watching the first part of the final season, I kept sitting there wondering what brilliant plan Aaron had come up with to solve the problems of his people forever and achieve universal peace. Coming up with some interesting ideas that could be turned into an exciting ending to the story. And in the end, it turns out that Aaron took the most obvious and dumbest method, which for obvious reasons will lead to nothing good, and fanatically strives to fulfill it. To say I was disappointed is to say nothing. But you know what the saddest part is? That attack of the titans is still fun to watch. Yes, the plot gets more and more absurd. Yes, the characters get more and more stupid. But it's still one of the most dynamic works that the Japanese anime industry has to offer, which rather speaks not to the high level of attack of the titans, but to the low level of the anime industry. The second half of the final season has a lot of pathos chatter that throws off the pace of the narrative, but overall events move quickly. Characters don't sit in trees for three episodes like in the first season, but actually take action to achieve their goals. So the pacing of the narrative can be considered the strongest point of the final season, probably the main reason why I still watched the second half of the final season to the end, rather than dropping it in the middle. It's still an interesting, fast-paced, good anime. Good, even though it could have and should have been great. I got a sense of deja vu. Like I'm watching Game of Thrones again, in which the first seasons also turned out to be benchmarks, raising expectations to exorbitant heights, then the quality of the story dropped somewhat, largely because the events of the series no longer followed the events of the book. And the last two seasons turned out to be a faded shadow that caused bewilderment and anger among fans. Honestly, I really want the final part of the final season to be awesome, because Attack of the Titans is one of the few franchises that truly deserves a cool, interesting finale. However, I have less and less hope for a good outcome with each new episode. Of course, I'll familiarize myself with the finale when it comes out, but I don't get the fervent impatience and anticipation for something magnificent at the mere thought of Attack of the Titans anymore. It's kind of a shame. I have no desire to re-watch the second part of the final season, and this is the first time I've had such a feeling while watching Attack of the Titans. Thank you so much for watching, if you liked it put a like and subscribe to the channel.